Welcome. This is the Energy Vibration reading for all the Sun, Moon, and Rising Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is for the month of August 2017. And I want to say thank you for being here. And um, it's going to be wonderful, whatever the situation is in your life in this month. It is the month of the Hermit. So you're going to work with your inner light. You're going to con connect with yourself. You're always a um, person of uh, <laughs> um, inner guidance. So whatever it is, you're going to really connect uh, to your inner light and this is going to be good so this is going to be positive as we look at your zodiac energies it's going to be um, the energy of the fire and then it changed to the energy of the earth I want to say thank you to each and every person thank you for the support thank you for the likes and sharing please remember I am so grateful I'm sending you guys a wonderful um, uh, energies for this month because it's going to be absolutely a wonderful month whatever it is with the, the men it's going to be good there is going to be um, a quick ending to something um, and this can be relationship if you have a balanced relationship there is going to be an ending to that situation whatever it was so there is going to be an ending but it's okay because new doors of opportunities are going to come in um, the energy of the tower is breaking down something and then you're going to have news a lot of news so whatever that was blocking something in your life you're going to see a positive endeavor number 88 is going to be your energy vibration because the number eight comes up it's a positive energy whatsoever is happening um you're going to see wonderful new positive energies coming up and the daughter of Pentacles is here which is your own energy vibration in the last week so the first week because we have five weeks in this month first week is the energy vibration of the hurt is your own week and what this is doing for you Virgos is that especially for you Virgo men it is going to be a week where there is just positive positive things coming out for you Virgo men okay for the women it's going to be a normal um, week but for you Virgo men it's going to be positive it's going to be a week of hard working it's going to be a week where you see your hard working coming uh, to fruitation when we look at the second week you have the energy of the lovers but what, what is happening here with the energies of the lovers is that if you have a a, a strong relationship it's going to come to an end like an ain't it's going to come to an end so be aware of this in the third week you have the energy of the tower and the eight of wands information coming so the tower break down and then a lot of informations will be coming in a lot of invitations will be coming in so this is um, very good as we look at the fourth week we have the energy of justice the balancing and is as if uh, this justice the balancing is as if the magician came in and work magic in your favor so this is going to be good it's going to be a positive thing if you're thinking about traveling it's going to be wonderful whatever you think about if you're going on a journey this is going to be extremely good it's going to be positive because you you'll be flying over and you'll be moving away from whatever situation that has been happening and whatever that has been blocking you is as if something happened and the magician came and work a little magic for you guys in the fifth week we have the energy of the daughter of Pentacles which is your own energy vibration which is coming up and this is going to be good because it's as if um, somebody is going to bless you with something beautiful because the energy of uh, a positive uh, um, a surprise is coming in for you and it's an invitation but yet still it's a surprise so it's going to be extremely good as we go and we're going to look at the week we have the energy vibration of the eight of Pentacles okay the eight of Pentacles before I go forward your focus in this month of August is going to be the lovers it's going to be the lovers it's going to be the lover so in um, the second week something is going to happen because the lovers is in your reading twice so there is going to be an end a swift end to a, a relationship that you have a very um, strong relationship a very stable um, strong relationship a swift end is going to come in so this is going to be good 
um, it's not gonna be it's gonna be good because you, you know it's the end of something remember the number 88 is going to be your number of energy vibration I never get it for any other so obviously um, your financial situation is going to be good okay we have the eight of Pentacles eight of Pentacles is when you're working hard on something whatever you're working hard on and having balance doing it you men it's going to be wonderful it's going to be a wonderful endeavor so whatever the eight of Pentacles is always hard working and having balance for the men it's going to be a very very positive week because your own energy vibration is in this first week so it's going to affect everyone but especially for the men all the men who are working hard it doesn't really matter what you're working hard on it's going to be a very positive endeavor in your life it's going to be extremely positive okay because it's going to bring in wonderful um, abundance for you but yet still it's going to bring in a lot of love for you so whatever the situation is whatever that has been happening in your life you're going to see positive situations coming in your life and this is going to affect the men um, mostly in the second week we have a week of the lovers and the week of the lovers bring you the four of ones a strong foundation but it is in reverse the four of ones is in reverse so whatever situation you have in your relationship there's going to have a swift end so the relationship that you thought you have is not stable it's not stable because the four of wands is not stable so if you thought you were in a good relationship then it's a positive relationship and you know I never have to worry about it there is going to become an end a swift end to your relationship just out of the blues a swift end to your relationship and whenever this happen is you know it can be that negative forces into your relationship for some people but it can be that you have learned your lessons and it's time for you to to separate and move on with your life okay as we move forward we are looking at situations on in the third week which is a fire week which is the energy of the tower and we have the eight of one so whatever that has happening um, the ending the swift ending that happened in the second week a lot of messages are going to come in and this is going to be good because these messages that are coming in is going to be an invitation to something that is much better okay so like uh, um, or relationships can just end or a situation with other people or relationships with other people or situations can just come to an end but it's okay because something much better it's coming in so a good invitation is coming in in the third week whatever that was there is being removed and then you are going to have a lot of uh, um, people or messages situation coming at you so if you are looking for a job the third week is going to be one of the most positive because it, as you look whatever it was the tower in the third week is going to break down something and then a lot of invitations are going to be coming out so doors of opportunities are going to be opening for a lot of people because whenever the energy of the 20 um, this energy comes up it's invitation to something and this if you're looking for work you're going to get a lot of invitation if you're looking to connect with other people it's going to be a lot of invitation coming in so a lot of messages and a lot of invitation will be coming into you so whatever that was blocking you is no longer blocking you and you're going to realize and see that the universe is going to send you a lot of invitations a lot of people are going to be inviting you whether for work whether for business whatever it is schools um, uh, connection with on the organization that sort of a thing is going to happen in the third week so it's it's it's, it's good as we look at the fourth week we have the energy of 
um, justice and whatever has been happening something miraculous happened and it is a good outcome so if you had a situation far from you not far from you a lot of people are with this energy of justice um, traveling some people are going to go on journeys new trips it's going to be extremely good whatever these trips are it's going to be extremely good so be aware of this it's going to be positive whatever this because as you look at the energy of this magician looking at this trip so whatever it is if you're having a situation that has to do with far away from you traveling and that sort of a thing if you were thinking about traveling if whatever it is if you are waiting for information for a, a change um, work permit that sort of a thing whatever it is it's going to happen so it's going to be good for you Virgos so that's another uh, good week which is the third week and the fourth week as we look at the fifth week we have the energy of the moon whatever is happening you're going to be connecting with your guides and angels because the daughter of Pentacles is here. The daughter of Pentacles is a page of Pentacles. Bring in um, a news that money is going to be available to you or money is coming in to you. So this is good. Um, you are a heart sign. So uh, especially for the people who are working um, with the energy of the moon and was born under the energy of the moon, this is intuition. So you're always very, very intuitive people, and this is going to help you. And with your intuition, you're going to be able to use it to make money for you. And this is going to be good because a good blessing is going to come in. So this energy of a good blessing is going to be luck. Um, yeah surprise it's going to be a surprise coming in which you weren't expecting and this is going to be a wonderful surprise it's going to be something and the page of Pentacles come to tell you about this wonderful surprise of something that is coming in that was very very unexpected and this is going to come in and somehow it is going to support you in ways that you weren't aware of so you know this this sort of a situation is so wonderful it's so positive um, whatever the situation is it's going to be for work you're going to be connecting with the good people the good work the good organization um, it's going to be surprising it's as if you have always wanted to work someplace and then you never get the possibilities to go and it's it, it's just going to happen like out of the blue it's just going to happen so this is extremely good um, whatever is happening because it's crowned in your month with a relationship just ending abrupt whatever it is walk away from it maybe it has to end like that you know whatever it is but yet still something good is going to come come out come uh, to come to you a lot of invitations but yet still a lot of invitation in whatever you're looking for is going to come to you and it's going to be a good thing because it's going to be contract a lot of people will be signing contract in the third week and the last week so and these are exciting things because it's as if you weren't um, you you're gonna be surprised because you did not see this coming so it's a month of surprise for you guys so uh, expect um, surprises in this one because it's, it's it's going to be wonderful and as I said number 88 because you are you guys are the only one who got the thing of the number so um, good luck <laughs> um, 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 a wonderful surprise is coming in for you guys a wonderful surprise is coming in So whatever it is a wonderful surprise is going to come in for you guys um, it's gonna be good it's gonna be positive whatever is happening it's going to be extremely positive good surprise good things will be happening let's look at the Sun sign to see what is going on for the Sun sign people and let's see what's happening for the Sun sign people it's good um, for the sun sign people it's 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 really good because the Capricorn seems to be the Capricorn people are coming up to work with you guys so 
for the sun sign people you have your sister energy vibration of the Capricorns coming in to work with you the Capricorns are very good in business they're very good so whatever way they can be coming up in relationships then we have the energy of the cancers whoever the cancers are these are very good relationships that you're going to connect with the cancers which the Capricorns and the Cancers are working on the spirit world and then you have the energies of the Aries the Aries can be in business but the Aries can also be helping you to bring out your passion your um, and, and, and and the Aries people you know they always are hardworking people so it's more about work so you could be um, meeting Aries people in your work endeavor but you have the energy of the Capricorns and the cancer so that is a more psychic it's like as if they're going to help you um, with your psychic so you know for you Sun people having the Capricorns the cancer and the Aries these are powerful powerful people to have as a business partner but yet still in the sense of relationship it could be ending a relationship but yet still a Capricorns or your sister zodiac sign and their earth signs so they will be help, helping you and working with you so this is going to be good as we move on and we look at the moon people the moon rising people to see what is coming in for you let's see what is coming in for the moon rising people we have the Aquarians coming in for you guys and that is good because it's psychic the Aquarians help you to awaken your psychic sense and then you have Uranus Uranus with the Aquarians because um, Uranus is um, the healer of the Aquarian the, the leaders the um, supervisors of the Aquarians and they he governed the Aquarians so this is good this is good that's all about the psychic uh, uh, connecting with your spirit guides and then we have another planet which is Jupiter so this is lucky this is lucky because you guys are going to be signing a lot of contracts whatever is happening you guys are going to be signing a lot of contracts so for the moon sign you are going to be working with the Aquarians and their planets because that is going to teach you about intuition and you have Jupiter coming in here so it's going to be luck so again for you moon people remember when um, Uranus come in and you have the Aquarians and that sort of a thing um, they the Aquarians are ruled by Uranus and the planet of Jupiter is coming in and this is going to be wonderful because it's bringing you luck so in love and it's more about your intuition because they're helping you to awaken your intuition and to look further in who you are and connect with the spiritual side of yourself and Jupiter is bringing you luck in that so that is going to be good for you moon people wonderful wonderful as we go forward we are working with a vortex and the vortex is wonderful it's a wonderful um, energy vibration cards um, I think this is like one of the best on the market and let's see what the message is for the vortex that is coming out for you guys our source is one of love not condemnation this has come up for another sign I think it was last month or the month before and it says our source is one of love not of condemnation when you pay attention to the way you feel and deliberately choose more thoughts that feel good while you think them you will begin to recognize the natural nature of the border non-physical des uh, desires the majority of negative emotions that you feel are not because the subject of your thought is wrong but instead because you are condemning something that your source does not condemn your source is one of love not one of condemnation this is so so beautiful because what it is saying is that um, you may not have the you, you might not like a certain aspect in a person or something but if you keep on focusing yourself on that certain aspect and that thing that you don't like about a personal relationship or whatever it is 
what you're doing is condemn something that source you know source is the creator of all things and he creates everything in our likeness and if we do not like another person for whatever reason we are actually pulling that person in our energy vibration or pulling that situation in our energy vibration so we're condemning something that is made of source and is made of love so we all need to understand this and as we understand this we're going to see how our life vibrate in a high energy vibration and I want to say to each and every person out there please like share these videos thumbs up and I want to say to you all enjoy this month and we'll speak next month